Hey, what's going on guys? It's Leon here, and today we're playing some Team Fortress 2 Control Point on Granary. And I'll be using I'll be using the Scout class and I switched to Spy for one death or one little round. So I can uh clear up the area of when we get to the last point. But anyways, I'm in a great mood today and I hit seven hundred subscribers last night. Thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. Without you, this would have been possible. I know everyone says this, but it, it, it's really true. It would not be possible without you guys. So thank you so much for watching my videos, for enjoying what I do, for giving me nice feedback and criticism. I, I, I'm fine with criticism. I just don't really like when people hate on my videos and don't tell me why they're disliking them. So uh, thank you guys for everything. But anyways... This game turned out to be a little funny. It's t it turned out to be a win and a fail at the same time. It turned out to be a win just because I do pretty good with Scout, even though it's it's uh, one of the classes I really need to work on Scout. Uh, so I do pretty good playing at Scout. But at the end of the game, the last 15 seconds, I switch to the red team. It, it auto switches me to the red team while I'm on blue team the whole game, and I help out my team capture the points like crazy so it's a win and a fail at the same time <laughs> pretty much alright uh... But mainly what I wanted to say that if you play in granary I'd totally recommend playing either as engineer scout or soldier or I don't actually you can play whatever you want granary is an awesome map it's, it's definitely one of my favorite maps in team fortress 2 out of everything granary high tower um... let's see what else Sometimes Lakeside, mo probably I like mo Harvest more than Lakeside. I like Harvest. I also really, really like um, Dust Bowl. So those are pretty much my favorite maps from out of all of them. And I have some Engineer gameplay that was requested by you guys. And also, some Heavy gameplay that was also requested by you guys. I recorded um, about a week ago and I said I was going to upload it earlier. But something happened to the render again, or to the set, to the recording. Because I was trying to record that with DX Story, a, a new program that I used to record um, Battlefield Pack Company 2 with. But I guess it doesn't really work for TF2, or I guess it fails on me for TF2. So just because sometimes I play smoothly, I play on steady 60, 80 to 100 FPS when I record Team Fortress 2, and. Uh, sometimes this happens when on the on the output file that you record, uh, it it becomes laggy. I don't know why that happens, or the video just freezes for like a split second and it goes back to normal. Uh, so I'm probably gonna use that gameplay, but uh, it, if if it lags a little bit for you guys, please don't say that uh, I need to like work on my computer or anything like that. Cause my I know I know that my computer can run Team Fortress 2 with no lag. That's for sure, for shizzle my nizzle. <laughs> but anyways, I need to improve my scout a lot. First of all, my aim with scout. Since you move so fast with scout, um, it, it it gets a little bit harder for you to aim. And this spy is so dumb. I don't I don't know what he's doing. Um, if you're a spy and you're disguised as someone, at least try to blend in with your with your enemy team. Just try to blend in just just a little bit. Whenever I play a spy, I I can look exactly as if I was on the uh, enemy's team. Just because I really don't kill uh, or look at my enemies like I'm a spy and I don't really go behind them. If I'm in front of my enemy's team, I'll be in front of them for the whole time until I get a chance to get behind them and then um, undisguise and kill them from the back or backstab them. So if you're a spy, please try to act. If you're disguised, please try to blend in with your enemy's team because that works the best and you won't look like an idiot uh, afterwards. Alright, so right now I switched to Spy, and I'm going to uh, clear out the area since we have all the control points except the last one. So right now I'm trying to go to the last control point to clear up the area there. I know there's a heavy there, there's a bunch of um, a dispensers, a uh, sentry gun, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and sap this uh, sentry gun, and then kill this engineer so he doesn't heal the sentry gun back up. And it's really if you're a spy it's really important to kill engineers and sometimes heavies you see a heavy and you can if and you have a chance to get behind them please kill them because sometimes I have spies on my team who don't really go for anything like that they just go around trying to kill people that are not even near the objective that they need to play so I, I really don't see the point of you being a spy if you don't play the objective and try to help out your team so 
uh, killing heavies and killing um, engineers is really really important and watch out for pyros because they check for spies like crazy so if you see a pyro you might want to just turn around and run back and right now I, I, I do something pretty stupid first of all I get stuck on the pole when I get um, when I get lit up on fire by a pyro and second of all I uh, well after I get stuck on the pole I have no time to run and get the ammo or the health back so that was a fail by me and right here as you guys could tell it switches me to the red team and like I was like alright so let's go back and then I was like wait this isn't the spawn where I spawned or why why are we getting our control point captured so then I realized that I got switched that I got switched to the red team and I was like oh my god to myself so anyways I think it was a win and a fail game at the same time I hope you enjoyed this and if you if you would give me a dislike please write in the comments why thank you for 700 subscribers and I'll talk to you guys all later